Hello friends and enemies, welcome to or back to Happy For Now, it's me Isabel here upstairs, like always, uh, giving belly ropes to the mills with my plushies. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, I hope y'all are doing well. I just wanted to open this vlog because it's Tuesday and yesterday was me marathoning Annie on my mind and trying to finish my members book club pick teacher of the year, which I am not vibing with. So <laughs> I am so excited because obviously it's a new week and this is going to be a fun week. But I needed to talk to you about the fact that I finished Annie on my mind yesterday, which was such a phenomenal YA. It is a definitely like a classic lesbian text uh, for YA and sapphic representation can't recommend it enough if you've never read it. I do think like it was something that I read and I was like, wow, young me would have loved this. <laughs> it's very angsty and it very much reads like older YA that is written for teens, which is like groundbreaking, groundbreaking, but I'm obsessed with it. Absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to uh, just continue this journey of reading through these books because it's so interesting <laughs> at the end of the day to see where they go um but yeah that's that's where we're at right now i'm going to i'm on spreads with bethany as you'll see in a moment uh and i'm going to work on reading more of teacher of the year and then make a decision on if i'm dnfing this or not i'd like to get at least halfway through before i make that decision but i just something about this book is not working for me so we will talk about that in a little bit it shows something's changing in me it shows now i'm highly good morning happy thursday the grass is frosty outside and that's uh, gross i am uh, freaking gross y'all i was not ready for this temp change um, I haven't really been reading a ton. I honestly, oh, that sun is blinding. Okay, hold on, let's move. I haven't been reading a ton yet. I will read more here. Um, honestly, I'm gonna make my coffee and read some of Lillian Lurk's arc that I have that's up tomorrow. I also just got an audio arc of Feed by Vita Vice, and I'm really, really excited for it. So I'm gonna listen to that, y'all, about that as well. I'm just like, um, it's just so cold. <laughs> And I'm so tired. And I have so much to do. And I'm just like, Bleh. but we do that today. I'm going to be filming. I need to film my manga log, my highs and lows. And I think that's it. But yeah, I think that's all I have to film today. I have to film two or three videos today. So I'm going to do that this morning when it's still kind of early and then just spend the afternoon resting. I'm also having like God awful cramps. So I've kind of just been <laughs> like laying around being like, mm, this is misery. But we did try a new ramen house last night, um, and it was so good. I'm so excited to try more. Grumps got a um, spicy beef ramen. That was delicious. My garlic tonkatsu was pretty good. I would probably get the beef one next time. I thought that was even better than mine. And normally, like, I'm pretty steady on my, like, love of garlic tonkatsu. Uh, their eggs were good. They were really done, well done marinated eggs. Often here, places don't actually marinate the eggs. It was a good time. I'm a little stuffy from the weather changes i think uh so that's also not been helping like my nose feels stuffed up so yeah that's where we're at right now i'm gonna i'm gonna make my coffee and read a little and then do notes for videos okay so i filmed <laughs> um i've not done any reading but i did get messaged by an author i adore so thank you um but because heather was like you should get her to listen to your new audiobook um uh, anyways, that is Feed by Vita Vice. Her audiobook came out for this one, and I am, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So it's a quick listen, and I'm going to, um, do that this afternoon because I want to read something. I want to finish something, and I realized Richard Pendragon narrates this, and he's doing the Unhinged audiobook too, and honestly... I kind of like his narration. I like the couple clips I've gotten of him narrating stuff. I really enjoy. So I feel like he's going to kill narrating this. Like, I really think he's going to do a great job. So yeah, um, I'm only listening to it on two and a half since I'm kind of got this for review. I want to make sure I like really sit in the narration, but I also know myself that I need to, what do you call it? I need to, um, 
lean in, you know, and just enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to listen to Feed by V Device and I will be back to tell you what I think very soon. Um, already <laughs> chapter one, I'm very excited. I love this book. I've been wanting to reread it. So this is also perfect because I want to read yours insatiably because I keep not reading it and I need to. So I'm going to read this. I'll probably go out and check out the next book, Yours Insatiably. Um, because yeah, I've loved everything I've read from Avita. So I just need to actually finish things. But all right, let's go listen. Okay, so I like marathoned the feed audiobook while um, not packing, while putting up Halloween decor. I mean, look, my phantom dude lady, she's gone. Half of my bar top is uncovered for decor. I do, I do actually need to put up the drying rack, but it's fine. Anyways, that's mostly cleared off of the stuff that doesn't stay out year round. Listen, I paid too much for that Bath and Body Works um, bust to put it away, but we're getting there and I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm very ready for Christmas decor and lights and I don't know. It just feels right. Anyways, I would update you because I listened to all of feed while I did that. Like literally as I took the last box to the garage, um, I listened to feed and holy crap. I forgot how much I love this book. First of all. So one, I'm just thrilled. I revisited it, but two, I'm like super pumped to read yours insatiably now this month. Cause like I just, it's happening. I have to read it. I love pie so much or our love interest in this book slash like fuck friend of sorts they are amazing i also like Am amarin i think that's her name uh so so much I'll, just all around the dynamic here is spectacular if you've not read this book and you are into like slightly paranormal but not like too it's not too much i feel like listen he is like a death moth fairy so he does have wings and stuff so like there's a little bit there but i don't feel like it's as far as like morning glory milking farm I cannot recommend this enough. I cannot recommend the audio enough. Richard Pendragon did an amazing job narrating it. And I'm even more excited for the other books he's narrating. Cause I think like he's kind of got a good voice for this. So I let, did that. I am about to run to Aldi cause I realized I don't have enough cheese to send Millie with for her little boarding trip to the, her favorite ladies at the vet. Uh, she loves the vet. She loves the vet tax. Like they're so excited every time we go. So. I'm about to go do that. I'm going to go run to Aldi and pick up um, some cheese so we have it for tomorrow, I think. And I think I'm going to start Mistlefoe by Kimberly Lemming because honestly, I'm just like waffling here and I would like something else short that I could read maybe. I'm not doing novella November, but like I feel like I'm going to do a lot of novellas the next two months because I want stuff I can read quickly. So I think we're going to read Mistlefoe. It is on Everand. <laughs> formerly script. But yeah, it's on those and I, I just love it. I'm so, so happy I read it and I'm so happy to have it to read on ever. And I don't, don't love the new apps logo, by the way. I think that yellow is atrocious, but uh, whatever, it's fine. I use it to listen to books randomly and I'm trying to use it more because I forget I have it sometimes. So I'm going to listen to Mistlefoe. Happy Friday. It has been a day already. <laughs> We were supposed to be on the road an hour ago, um, but it took Grumps almost five hours, four and a half hours to get our rental car and come back to the house. Um, so I've already taken Millie. I have did a couple errands this morning that I had to do and am just hanging out now. Uh, I'm packed up. My backpack is over there. Very oddly shaped because I have manga shoved into it, but um, I'm gonna loosen the straps on it in a second. Uh, yeah, I'm basically packed up. I am ready to go. We have a Jeep Grand Cherokee, I think is what he rented. So we'll be comfy. It's about a six hour drive and we're gonna gain an hour. So hopefully we can leave by one hour time and be there around 8, 8.30. I was supposed to edit a video today and that's possibly not happening. We'll see when I get to the hotel, but yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, reading wise, I read mistletoe last night while i like just did some stuff around the house so i finished that up that was a solid four star read novella for me i really enjoyed it i think it's a great little plot point in the middle of kimberly's series i think it was very enjoyable it was very fun it is available on ever and i still want to call it script 
Um, so it's available on every end if you're curious about it and would like to read it. Um, that's an easy way to get it. I don't know if it's also on library apps or not yet, but yeah. I read it that way. This is a great option. Really enjoyed it. Fun time. I think it's also fun because we meet one of the characters that is in the newest book in this book, which I didn't realize because I haven't read it yet. So that was fun also to like meet her origin story. <laughs> but yeah, we just kind of got that little bit of story. There's a really funny moment with Cinnamon, like the spice, not, not the character that cracked me up as well. But this is a great fun, just little like fall winter read for sure. Definitely gives the energy of fall or winter obviously it's called mistletoe mistletoe is play of words right so yeah uh that's where i'm at i am going to keep reading hoarded by the dragon i barely started it i'm so behind and i feel really bad <laughs> but i'm gonna keep working on that on the drive some while i read and i will be back to talk to y'all probably once we get to the top but if not in the morning Happy Saturday. I am um, rocking my favorite sweatshirt. <laughs> Partially because one, I don't have, I don't have a Clemson sweatshirt and I couldn't find the one I was gonna steal from Grumps, but we are, uh, hold on, I'll show you the fit. Comfort is the name of the game today. Um, I'm about to go return a hoodie we got at Walmart last night for Grumps that he didn't like. Um, it, it just fits weird, I don't know. It was not a great, just not good quality um it's walmart so like what do you expect so i'm gonna go return that and then i'm going panthers gear shopping because neither of us have anything panthers it's not our team technically but with grumps's work situation it felt like we should maybe invest in at least a shirt each or something so we can wear it to games when we go because <laughs> we go not regularly but you know occasionally so i'm gonna do that and i am excited but not because it's 45 degrees outside so it's gonna be cold not as cold as it was last night my face hurt last night like i'm gonna get i gotta get some vaseline or something because like all of this is very agitated now from the cold air so yeah gonna pick that up at walmart gonna go to academy pick up some lunch probably read for a hot minute i have started Recorded by the dragon um, in the car last night and I really enjoyed it. Gotta grab the keys. Uh, but yeah, I uh, need to do that. He's at his game for the next five plus hours probably. So that'll be a good time. I'm gonna come back here then and probably lay around, lounge and read. Use my Roku that I brought <laughs> to watch some TV and stuff like that. I just kind of want to relax as much as I can. So I'd like to get my errands done this morning and then just be back here hanging out and uh, probably repack a little bit because tomorrow we leave to head up to Charlotte in the morning for the game. But yeah, I will be back to talk to y'all very soon. Okay. So did my makeup, did my nails. We've got nice star pattern. Anyways, I'm going to a place called the silos for dinner tonight. I'm meeting Grumps and his coworker over there for dinner. Um, yeah, I did my makeup for the hell of it and uh found out my skin tint's expired <laughs> so i used it anyways but um i guess tomorrow i might try and hit up a salt salsa sephora or ulta to get something new i don't know what to do um i never finish my products is the problem but it worked i think just a little extra powder and stuff but yeah i might see what i can get at the store here but yeah makeup is done lip tint this is fenty if anybody's curious uh urban decay like not space cowboy but a different one like midnight cowboy or something on the lids with like my basics but yeah i'm about to go to dinner meet them for dinner um go drive my mom my mom car around uh but i just edited this afternoon i really didn't listen or do anything reading wise i will probably read once i get to the silos and i'm waiting on the guys to get there but we'll see what happens oh it was a day i tried to return this hoodie that grump spot right and the first walmart i went to wouldn't take it because i didn't sell it there so i had to drive 30 plus minutes to go to return it, which is fine because I got tights for tomorrow because I'm worried about it being a little too cold for my skirt. So we'll see what happens. If I find a cute sweatshirt, I can do leggings and a sweatshirt and the boots, which I'll show you the fit. Hold on, it's kind of dark in here, but no hotel has overhead lighting I found. This is like my quintessential fall fit. It's like leggings, combat boots, sweatshirt. So we're in it, we're rocking it. 
and we're rocking some bourbon because gotta represent. Anyways, I'm gonna go get in the car. Welcome to the Be Productive With Me for the next uh, however long until uh, Grumps gets back from work. We are in Charlotte right now and uh, I am looking for the car keys for our rental and 99.9% .9 sure Grumps took them to work. So that totally screws up my plan. Originally I was going to do a how much manga can I read in a day but um, some of my manga is still in the car. And I only have a couple volumes here. Um, let's see, what do I have? So, <laughs> we will read what we can of this, because I have like volume 10 here, but the volumes I need are in the car. Um, let's see, we do have six and seven. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so, yeah, I was gonna do like a, spend the day with me while I read as much manga as I can and go a couple places but um I don't have the car keys so that's great I had one place I really wanted to go uh so that's probably not happening but instead I thought we'd pivot into a productive vlog while we're let me close it. okay so instead I thought we'd pivot to a productive vlog while we are here in a hotel all day as you can see I've got the suitcase open I'm ready for the day um the biggest goal left this morning is to pack up all our dirty clothes and double check everything for the keys because maybe they're hiding in a pocket and I don't realize it, but so far I've had no luck. Uh, it happens. It's fine. He might bring them to me at lunch and then we'll go get the coffee I wanted, but uh, who knows? Who knows? It's fine. I'm actually not that mad about it. Like, it's not that big a deal. I'm just like, crap. Because I do have other things I need to read besides the manga I brought. So I have like two live shows this week. I have to finish um, three books for one, which is the Bright Falls series. Uh, so Delilah Green doesn't care. Astra Parker doesn't fail and or doesn't date, whatever that one's called. And then Iris Kelly doesn't date. <clears throat> I think it's Astra Parker can't fail or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I have to finish those. And I need to edit my video for Tuesday. So I figure at the very least right now I can edit a video and I can work on some Delilah Green doesn't care when I like go walk and get myself some early lunch, late breakfast and a few, um, you know, we just, we're going to have a fun day. It's fine. It'll be okay. We're going to lay in the bed and read. Like we may not finish this whole stack, which I'll go through with what I have with me in the room right now, um, today, which is also okay. I I just kind of wanted to do this to have a vlog for Thursday and do another two week vlog because I've not been reading a ton with my trip. So yeah, um, this is the stack I have with me. We have my love mix up six through eight in the room. <laughs> we have the Dragon Knights Beloved volume three with us. I also have Bite Maker six and seven here. Let me actually hold it correctly. Six and seven here. And then I have She Loves to Cook, She Loves to Eat, volumes one and two. This just means the eight hour vlog is coming, <laughs> where I like actually read manga for eight hours a day. It's just not coming as soon as I thought it was. So that's fine. But yeah, I've already started Delilah Green while I get ready this morning. I'm already 6% in, I'm like 45 minutes in. Um, it's gonna be a quick re-listen for me because I love this book, number one, but two, I just don't see it taking me too awfully long to get through. And I think I already have Astrid out from Hoopla. Yes, I have Astrid Parker out from Hoopla. Oh, it goes back in two days. Um, another one that I will probably get through pretty quickly, honestly. Um, the biggest thing is on Wednesday, I want to be reading Iris Kelly. Uh, or at least starting it by the afternoon. So we'll see how this goes. 
problems. I very quickly realized uh, today that I've overbooked myself this week, but it's, it's okay. I'm gonna get through it. It's okay. I am gonna get through it. Um, and I will finish all the books I need to read, even if it means I stay up a little bit later the next few nights. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna go through the rest of the clothes, get our dirties into one side of the bag and uh, just kind of start repacking lately because we're leaving tomorrow morning. Um, I have no idea what time yet, but we're heading back home tomorrow morning. So this will be Thursday's, this Thursday's vlog. So like you're getting this almost real time, <laughs> as close to real time as you can get a video. Uh, that is a sit down. So yeah, I am gonna finish packing and edit my manga log. Step one, I'm also gonna go drink some water because I feel, <clears throat> I feel like you can hear it. I'm very like dry today. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back. Okay, so video for tomorrow is done and edited, scheduled, everything's done. It is 11.26. I wanted to leave here earlier, but it's fine. Uh, my dad called, so I chatted with him. This is why this has turned into a productive vlog and not the eight hour thing. That's coming, I promise you I'm doing one. Um, but I am looking outside, it looks beautiful out. So that's exciting. I am going to go get in the car and go get a coffee at Ralph's and figure out what I want for lunch and get some waters. And then we're gonna come back to this room lay on that bed and read but i am still working through delilah green my reread and i'm really enjoying it i think this is just such a fun book all the reasons i love it are standing out astrid and delilah's relationship i find really fascinating and interesting and i love knowing what's coming i'm very very excited so yeah uh, i'm gonna keep listening to that while i go to run these things run around and do these things and i will be back to talk to y'all very soon Okay, so I'm back. I went and got Sephora, which is one of my favorite places in Charlotte. Uh, that's still good because I went to some other places we used to love that are not as good as I used to be. I gotta say though, driving around Charlotte again and like just being here, I'm so glad we moved. <laughs> I do miss a lot of my friends that I made here, but like, I do not miss living in Charlotte. It just is not my city. It's not my vibe. It's not my thing. I just don't love it but i'm here to update you because i'm back i went to barnes and noble i was gonna try and buy manga and barnes said no because i only had one of the books i wanted so um it is now 247 i'm doing great obviously on being productive today but i did listen to how far am i i'm 20 percent into delilah green doesn't care i probably will not finish it today i already messaged bethany was like i gotta move this i can't I, I overbooked I overbooked myself this week. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <sighs> to the point at which I don't know if this video is gonna see the light of day or get scrapped. So you'll know when you see it and I say that. But um it is 247 and I am just happy to be here. I grabbed out um Cherry Magic. I have volumes two through five with me, and these are so short and quick to read that I'm thinking. I'm gonna read these for now until like five o'clock and maybe I can get through all of them. That'll feel good. I just am not, 
having a good day. That's not a bit of a bad day. I'm just not like, I'm not on it for my timeliness today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try reading five volumes, four volumes of Cherry Magic before I go to our dinner. We are going to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the other vlog, but I'll know when I edit, but I'll mention it here. So Grums was at a mall that had a Cheesecake Factory and he's like, maybe I'll go to Cheesecake Factory for lunch. And I was like, I swear to God, do you want a divorce? <laughs> because we just watched all of Keith Eats the Menu Cheesecake Factory and I was like, I don't really usually crave Cheesecake Factory extensively. Um, it's somewhere I like to go like with my mom. It, it's one of those places, right? And I was like, no, if you go without me, fight. Like on site when you get home, I will kick you. Uh, I don't condone violence, but I can, it's fine. I can kick Grumps. He's much bigger than me. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt him. Um, but don't, don't hurt your partners, by the way. So it would be a play kick, but anyways. Yeah, he was like, fine, I won't go. And I was like, thank God. Uh, but I've been texting him and he doesn't have great service in their office, but I'm hoping he sees my text because I got us a reservation at 5.30 and I'm gonna call him at five o'clock to be like, hey, we have a reservation. <sighs> um, yeah, so I am gonna sit and read Cherry Magic right over here because I was gonna lay in the bed, but I'm afraid I will fall asleep. So we're gonna sit in a chair also forgot a battery for my camera so i plugged it into a usb port the camera itself to, plugged into a usb to try and charge this battery fingers crossed it works i don't like filming on my phone i'm really bad about where to look whereas on the camera i look at you <laughs> do you know what i mean not always when i'm filming i do look away and stuff but um yeah like i'm better at knowing where to look versus um on my phone i like sh i struggle listen she's not talented it's fine. Um, but yeah. Oh, I re-glued my nail that I popped off earlier. So that's back on, which is great. I, um, that was on me trying to get a card out of my wallet. We're going to go to Sephora here because the powder I want, <laughs> I've talked about this some, I like expensive makeup and I also like cheap makeup. I do not recommend anyone buy the expensive makeup. I like generally speaking, unless you are like me and really enjoy doing your makeup. Um, but I want the Givenchy powder in the travel size and for whatever reason the sephora by my house never has it and i don't want to it's it's like it's so small i don't want to have it shipped to me so i think after we eat dinner tonight i'm gonna drag grumps to sephora to get me that powder <laughs> he'll do it he's fine he does not care um because i just got the there's two powders i wanted i wanted the fenty insta blur powder because it works really well for like glasses um stuff like to help prevent that and then the Givenchy is just so smooth. Oh my God, it's so nice on. But again, if you buy it by the travel size, you do not need the full size. Suck in a ball. You don't need it. There's other much more affordable powders that do basically the same thing now, but I just really like how it feels. It's kind of like the foundation I just got. Anyways, this is blinking at me, so I don't know if it's working. I am going to go read and I will be back to talk to you soon. Hello. So I have read cherry magic volume two and four stars i loved this continuation it was really good really fun um these are so quick and fun to read but i kind of i don't know if i want to keep reading this or if i want to switch things also like i am charging my battery and then it's dying so this is a good time i'm i i'm so mad at myself and i'm out of focus anyways i'm so mad at myself for figuring my battery but either way I really like Cherry Magic Volume 2 and I'm excited to read more. I'm going to go read something else or Volume 2 of Cherry Magic. I'm not sure which yet. And uh, I will be back to talk to you soon. Hello friends. It's Wednesday, November 8th. I'm here to update you. I just filmed a Romance Landia mini, not so many, it's like 20 minutes, uh, over 20 minutes talking about what happened with Tilly Cole. So uh, if you somehow are here and haven't watched that, hi, hello. Uh, I am very stressed out. 
currently because it's just it's holiday season there's so much to do so much to get done i'm trying to like prep content so i can take a nice break for the holidays and all that which i'm getting on track for like we're getting there condensing this to a two-week vlog honestly helps and i've already made plans with shay for next week for a manga eight hour reading vlog that i was going to do when i was in charlotte but it didn't work out because i forgot the battery whole thing but i'm here hello so reading updates i have read a little more afforded by the dragon i feel so bad that i'm so behind on this arc because i've been so excited for it and i'm really liking it so far and i'm hoping tonight while well, i'm on member sprints to read more of it i'm up to 66 percent and chapter Papa, what chapter am i on uh chapter 11 of steel's edge and i'm really really liking the story so far i think this has been a really good conclusion it is definitely one of the darker and heavier of all the books in the series somehow but I also really like it a lot. Like I'm really enjoying it. So that's a relief to say the least, like a very big relief. So that's nice. I am working through that. And then I am going to continue reading Delilah Green Doesn't Care as well. My goal tonight is to get to 75% in Steel's Edge. And then tomorrow is going to be a big reading day for me. I've got to go to, to Target and I've got to run a couple errands. But after I do that, like I just kind of want to be home and chill. I want to film I need to edit a book vlog or look I need to edit for a book haul on Sunday and then I would just like to relax and then take Friday to go ahead and prep some more content for myself for the upcoming weeks um so yeah I'm trying to kind of like alternate between like heavy prep days and heavy like just reading and relaxing because that's kind of what I need right now this is it's great to keep my mind off of everything else going on in my life but yeah that's where we're at right now I'm exhausted yesterday basically we got home I unpacked and I passed out so there was not really a lot that was perfection and yeah I will talk to y'all in a little bit when I've read some more tonight okay I have to update you because I am now 78% through Steel's Edge after sprints tonight and I loved it loving it very this is such an interesting book it's very different all of these have been pretty different from each other um, but also I am now 12% into Hoarded by the Dragon finally and I hate that I'm so tired because I just want to read this book but I can't because I need to do other things but um, absolutely obsessed with everything that's happening in Hoarded by the Dragon right now. I'm hopefully going to read a little more in bed tonight and then I will um, update you in the morning because tomorrow is going to be a productive reading day where I get a bunch of tasks done. I also need to like clean my bathroom and I need to, I'm gonna make a target run. So I'm gonna do the, that stuff tomorrow as well. And yeah, I'm gonna go wash my face because this mascara is driving me bonkers. So we're gonna go handle that now. So I'm back from the couple errands I had to do today and I finished, I've got videos on in the background, but I finished reading Steel's Edge by Alona Andrews and I really I liked it I thought it was really good I I'm happy <laughs> right now like I'm happy I'm good I thought this was a good conclusion I liked their love story I'm so washed out I think it's because it's so overcast today but anyways yeah really enjoyed it I'm giving it five stars continuing to love it I also got 50-ish percent 60 percent through Delilah Green doesn't care on my reread already I will finish that today and I'm adoring the reread. It has been fantastic. Very, very good. Very good. I'm adoring the reread. I still love Delilah and Claire. I honestly, I'm just, I'm just thrilled to be reading it. But yeah, I'm about to go put up more laundry because I need to wash, I need to put one more load into the dryer, I think. And then I'll have, I think everything will be clean then. I gotta do towels. Towels is all that's left, but still, that's a win. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. I haven't read much else. I didn't read much last night. I kind of just passed out. I've been, I'm just really tired again. <laughs> it's, it's comes and goes, but it's fine. We, we're gonna get through this. But yeah, did that. I'm gonna go put up laundry and then I'll be back to talk to you. I'm gonna listen to Delilah while I do that. Okay, so um, I did my members read along tonight for Hayseed and stuffed by the wear turkey. Hayseed was fantastic. I'm giving it like four stars. Highly recommend. A good time. Great setup. Check the content warnings. I think Vera does a wonderful job laying it all out for you. Uh, so if you have sensitivities in any of those things, proceed with caution or let me know if you have questions down below. But it was so good. It was such a fun scarecrow romance situation. But I also, we read Stuffed by the Were Turkey, which two stars, maybe one star. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. 
Um, sorry, I thought Pete was about to knock everything over. So, gonna say don't recommend that. Honestly, do not recommend that one at all. So, stuffed by the wear turkey suffered on the fact that it didn't commit to anything it was doing and also like just was not good like it was just really not good it was weird it was awkward it was uncomfortable to read do not recommend even though it's only 13 pages and then um i'm gonna go back to reading delilah not delilah astra parker doesn't fail i'm almost done so i am planning to go downstairs wash this face put on some comfies and hopefully finish up Astra Parker while Grumps plays video games a little bit tonight and then go to sleep. Tomorrow morning we are going to see the Marvels and I'm really excited. This is my favorite superhero. I am a big Captain Marvel fan so I'm really really optimistic it's gonna be good and I'm gonna love it. I've not seen a ton on it of course and um, honestly I think the lack of stuff I've seen on it has me more excited for it. So yeah we're going to that in the morning at like 11 something. So that'll be our morning. I also might probably keep reading Hoarded by the Dragon on my Kindle. I'm just so slow at reading right now. And you know what? That's okay. We're going to lean in. Pease is rubbing the microphone. So that's, <laughs> please stop. So I'm going to lean into being a slow reader right now and just finish what I need to and um, bop around to other things as needed. So yeah, let's, let's go get comfy in bed. I'm freaking tired. It's, uh, it's, you know, 10 something and I was up pretty early this morning, even though it's a Saturday. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Hello, it's Monday and I need to close this vlog out. Be vlogging on a weekend. What's reading? Honestly, uh, but I did finish two more books this weekend. I finished Asher Parker Doesn't Date and I finished Iris Kelly. No, Asher Parker Doesn't Fail and Iris Kelly Doesn't Date. Oh my gosh, these titles. Anyways, I finished all of them. I love this series. I, the chapter three podcast episode is up by the time you're watching this. So you can go watch Bethany and I just talk about how much we love the series and the next over there. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed listening to these over the weekend. That was primarily all the reading I did. I'm kind of just tired <laughs> to say the least, but it's just that time of year too. Like everything's so busy, there's a lot to do. So I did really, really enjoy Iris Kelly. I would say Iris Kelly is my second favorite in this trilogy of books. So that's fun and I'm, I'm happy I read it. I also am just excited to see what else Ashley Herring Blake writes in her adult romance genre writing now because I'm sold on her writing. I really like her writing. I really enjoy her books and I really fell in love with both those characters. But yeah, that's kind of it right now. It's kind of just that time of year. Like I said, there's just so much going on. Uh, I did put the Christmas tree up, which you've not seen yet. You'll see it in the next vlog. But yeah, I am taking a little break from vlogging this week. So I will be back after Thanksgiving with my next vlog. So you'll get a big long one for the holidays, which I think will be nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of just taking a break from vlogging next this week, like the week this comes out, just to give myself some time to relax and focus on other things that I need to focus on. So you more than likely will not see a vlog on Thanksgiving. If you do, that was magic. We're not going to talk about how I managed it, but tentatively you will not see a vlog on Thanksgiving. So I'm just giving the heads up now. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll have links to all the books I read, of course, down below. I don't just have a ton. To, there's just not a ton going on right now. And I'm just kind of in that like pre-holiday days. Um, but yeah, I would love to know what you've read so far this month and loved and or what you're planning to read over the long weekend up here in the States. Because I'm always curious to see what other people plan to read for like Thanksgiving and stuff like we don't celebrate Thanksgiving like that like it's just a reason to get together with some friends and to um eat food in my house so yeah uh let me know and if you don't want to do any of that leave me a turkey emoji down below because it's approaching and you know I'm actually pretty excited for some turkey so it's not a, it's not a thing I eat very often but when we do I don't know I enjoy it for the holidays Anyways, that's it for me. I will have links to everything down below for you as well as links to my friend anywhere on the internet. And I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions.
chance, we'll get away. This is what we waited.